Okay guys, it's time to go over the challenge for week four. Lots of people have been emailing me, what's this next challenge? What are we going to do for the last week? And I haven't told anybody, but I'm going to tell you now. Think about it this way. What is often the last event, or one of the last events done at a grip contest? Again, all together with a five minute time limit. I'm going to go over all the rules right now. Alright, guys, let's go over the rules for the medley in week five of the Diesel Classic Strongman Feats tournament. We will have a five minute time limit to accomplish all of your feats. There will be points awarded for car tearing, reverse nail bending, phone book ripping, and horseshoe bending. You will have a two week filming period in order to purchase supplies and submit your video. My suggestion is if you are if you are running short on supplies, go ahead and get them ordered, get them to your house as soon as possible, maybe even get some extras in case you need to practice, and then we will begin taking videos the day after Labor Day, so the Tuesday after Labor Day in the U.S., which is next Monday, okay? So all the rest of the week, you are required to send me no videos. In fact, if you do, they will not count for the tournament, so don't send them until next Tuesday because they will not be processed the whole rest of the week. I am unable to do most of my uh, diesel crew normal routine because I have something else going on. So no submissions until Tuesday after Labor Day. When you shoot your video, everything should be verified, counted, wrapped, prepared before the time limit. So the time limit is to do the feats, not to wrap up a bunch of bars or anything like that. Um, so if it's phone books, you're going to count the pages ahead of time. If it's cards, you're going to take them out of the box and put them on a table. Hopefully you should have a table that you can have in front of you, to your side, or behind you, where you can put all the stuff you're going to tear. Please don't mix that stuff up with stuff that's already torn, bent, etc. Keep that area clear, even if it's just the floor, that you can take a good shot at. We'll measure after the time limit. Um, new entrance. I want to get more people involved, all right? I'm, I'm really interested in getting more people doing this. So anybody that has not submitted a video up to this point is going to get a bonus point for joining the tournament in the last week. There are lots of points up for grabs, so if you're joining the last week, you're not screwed. you got a good chance. You'll see why in a moment. Also, the first submission that I get on the Tuesday after Labor Day and we'll get a first round buy, and also the very last submission I get, we'll get a first round buy. Okay, so we're going on the Eastern time zone. I'm not going to go all over the world for the time zones. I don't even know how to figure that out. So Tuesday starts at 12.01 on Tuesday morning after Labor Day. And then the deadline for the submissions will be Saturday, 8 p.m. after Labor Day. All right, so those are the general rules. Let's go into the feats. So I'm going to clear all this off, put some more information on the board. It's very, very easy to figure out. Let me do that now. All right, guys, let's look at the bending and the card tearing segments of the medley. First off, we will be using reverse bending, no bracing. The wraps are not really an issue. You can use towels, iron mine pads, suede, etc. Just be honest, okay? Don't go, don't go cheating this and using something inside the wraps, okay? It's, it's very simple. 
For the stock, we'll be using 60 penny nails, grade 5 bolts, and 516 CRS. Um, uh, we will be bending to 40 degrees in 30 seconds. Actually, we're going to take the 30 second time period out because I don't want to time every single, every single bend. So you must bend the, the nails, bolts, or bars to 40 degrees and you can measure that afterwards. If you want to re-hit something, that's fine. Okay. One point for a 60 penny, two points for uh, grade five, three points for five sixteenths cold rolled steel or um, uh, red nails, if you actually have red nails. Okay, those are made out of cold rolled steel. Maximum 10 points by, by bending. Card tearing. We can use non-bicycles and we can use bicycle brand cards. Ripping a deck of non-bicycles is one point. Ripping a deck of bicycles is 1.5 points. If you quarter one of the halves, you'll get two points of a non-bicycle brand. And if you quarter a bicycle brand, you get 2.5 points. So it's just one quarter, okay? Um, so you don't need to quarter both halves in order to get the extra point. Again, 10 point time limit uh, by, uh, by card tearing. Let's look at phone book tearing and horseshoe bending now. Really quick on the card tearing, I already erased the board, but no bracing the card tearing. Please be in a standing position for the card tearing. Do not let any part of your arm below your elbow touch the rest of your body. No bracing. Finally guys, we'll go over the phone books and the horseshoe segments of the event. Phone books. The way it's going to be set up is if your book is less than a thousand pages, it's worth one point. Thousand to fifteen hundred pages, two points. Fifteen hundred plus pages, three points. You get an additional point for each lengthwise tear that you make. So ripping it in half is equal to these points. If you make an additional tear in that book, then you get one more point. All right. Um, with horseshoes, we're going to be using St. Croix shoes just for simplicity. Um, the St. Croix Ultralight 2 is one point. The St. Croix Light Rim 3 is two points. The St. Croix Plane number 3, uh, the St. Croix Light Plane number 3 is three points. The St. Croix Regular Plane uh, Triple Zero is four points. And then the St. Croix Plane Regular 3 is five points. You get an additional point if you heart the shoe. Okay? So um, for if you have any questions on the individual rules for each event, you can go to the post of that event the first time it was ran in the tournament. So other, in other words, if you have questions on how the, the card tearing will be done, you can go to the card tearing post. Just go to Diesel Crew and then find this uh, video on the Diesel Crew site and then below it will have uh, a link to the card tearing in week one or uh, work, that was actually week two. The nail bedding was in week one, card tearing was week two, phone books was week three and then week four was horseshoes. They will all be listed there so you can link right directly to them and go see what the rules are for those for those bends. Okay now Here's the thing that you have to think about. If you want to go for a world-class horseshoe bend, the ge in general, the time limit for those is three to five minutes, um, and they take longer. Okay? You only have five minutes to accumulate as many points as you can during this tournament. Okay? So if you're going to take a long time bending a horseshoe, you probably better be shooting for a St. Croix uh, regular plane or a, a plane regular three in order to make it worth your time. If you're going to rip a giant phone book, uh, it's going to burn up some time too, okay? So you have to be thinking about these things. If you can't get access to a phone book, then you're going to have to pile up on the other feats. Um, like I said, I still have grade 5 bolts here. I'll send them to you. Um, just uh, email me and we can work something out. Uh, but they're available. They're available at stores and online, um, especially through McMaster Car. That's where I get them. The McMaster website can send you the link 
page if you want it. Just email me. Uh, cards. There should be absolutely no, no problem in getting decks of cards. You don't need bikes. You can get them if you want to. You can tear your ass off with just uh, um, cheap dollar store cards because either way, the most you're going to get is 10 points per section. Okay? So, um, that's about it. If there's any amendments to the rules, they will be made in the post that is below. Okay? So, go to the post below for any uh, clarification on rules or feel free to contact me through my website or right here through YouTube. All right? Guys, this is going to be an awesome week. You're going to see a lot of crazy stuff go down once this, uh, once these videos are submitted. Just remember the rules. Take your time this week to plan your strategy and get the supplies that you need for the feats. Send me your videos starting on Tuesday of next week, Tuesday after Labor Day. Remember, there's, there's bonus points for anyone who has not submitted yet. You can get one bonus point just by submitting for week five if you haven't submitted already, and there will be two buys, automatic buys, which are valued at a point .5 points, okay? So it can be pretty big uh, for somebody um, who needs those points. So automatic buy for the first person to send me a video on Tuesday, and then the last person to send me a video at Saturday, by Saturday at 8 p.m., um, uh, not this Saturday, next Saturday, after Labor Day, okay? So you got a week to prepare and order stuff, get it ready, make a plan, and then a week to get everything submitted, okay? Any questions? Let me know, guys. I'm here for you. All the best in your training. Take care.